Okay, so now we're gonna do the same breakdown to a different attack, a rolling bow and arrow, okay? So, right now, he gets that underhand grip, pulls in, gets that rushing grip, right? Does a breakdown to the turtle, immediately attacks the collar, right? Gets that grip. Now, as soon as he has that grip, what he's gonna do is put his hand on the back, stand up, and step all the way over with his front side leg, okay? Step all the way over and get it through. Now, his head is gonna follow his foot through this hole, okay? And as he rolls through, he's gonna use his hand and catch the leg. Boom, boom. Now, the legs, his leg was, his far leg was wide. He's gonna cross over and either cross his legs, cross his feet or whatever. So now, he's gonna make sure his elbow is close to his side on the choking arm, and he's gonna pull in. Get to the uh, get to the step over and stop. So he's gonna get to a to get to a crucial position in this, okay? Boom. Turn towards me. No, turn towards me. Yeah, right there. Okay, right here. Another big detail is when he starts rolling, his head side leg, he's gonna swing it up for momentum and he's gonna bring it out wide so it doesn't land under Lee. Okay? So go for it. Boom. Right? So come around, come on. So you see where he's at, he's at a rolling bow and arrow position. Now, another thing, guys, what I never want to see anybody do is lean away and pull really hard, okay? Because although it feels like you have more power there, all he has to do is grab the elbow and pull it up and he's out of the fight, okay? So, what we're gonna do, once we have that grip, just get it, right? Is our elbows come tight to our body and we crunch in towards them and pull, okay? That way there's nowhere for their head to go, okay? One more time, do it one more time. I keep walking in front of the camera. We we'll go, yeah, with we'll no narration, just go for it. Get the tab. Good stuff, go train. <laughs>